Hello friends. Welcome to Date Empires. So far in the training session of mechanical data recovery, we have discussed in detail about hard disk structures and its mechanical components. In this session, we will be learning about what happens when there is a mechanical fault in a hard disk and what might be its symptoms. Also, we will be learning on how to confirm the mechanical fault in the hard disk without opening the top cover using sound detection method. First, we will discuss about the symptoms of the mechanical faults of the hard disk. If the clicking sound comes from the hard disk, it might be a mechanical fault. In such case, the head will also be damaged. If the spindle motor gets stuck in the hard disk, or if the head is stuck on the platter, then also, it is considered as a mechanical fault. When such fault occurs, a very low sound will come from the hard disk, which we will have to listen very carefully. If the hard drive is going too slow, then its head might be very weak. It might also be a firmware problem, if the hard drive works slow. In such a scenario, first of all, we have to repair the firmware of the hard disk. After solving the firmware issues, if the problem still persists, we will have to solve it mechanically. In some cases, the hard disk may rotate for a while, and after some time it shuts down and stops the rotation. Due to this, the hard disk won't be detected on the system. If the hard disk vibrates too much and produces unusual sound, then the spindle motor might be damaged. Whenever there is a mechanical fault in the hard disk, it produces different sounds. By listening to this sound, an experienced person can identify the mechanical fault inside the hard disk. Now, we will listen to different types of faulty sounds, and will try to learn and recognize the mechanical faults related to it. First, we would understand the problem of head damages in a hard disk. When the head is damaged inside the hard disk, a clicking can be heard from the hard disk. In some cases, we can hear very loud noises and in some cases the sound will be very low if the head is damaged inside the hard disk the rotation will stop after some clicking sound now let us hear the low noise generated due to the head damage inside the hard disk audio playing. In this case, a very low sound is produced inside the hard disk. And after a few moments, hard disk's power will turn off. After listening to this, we can now recognize the problem of head damage inside the hard disk by this symptom. If the head gets damaged inside the hard disk, a very loud will be produced from the hard disk, which may sound something like this. We will now discuss the issue of head getting stuck inside the hard disk. The problem of head getting stuck inside the hard disk is very common. This problem can be found more in USB hard disks and external hard disks. Technicians generally interpret this problem as no power or faulty PCB. Many a times, the head of the hard disk will get stuck onto the platter while spinning down and it won't shift into the head parking area. This problem is called head stuck problem. Whenever there's an issue of head getting stuck inside the hard disk, no rotation can be found in that hard disk. And sometimes, an unusual sound may come out of it. This sound produced, is very low, and you have to listen to it very carefully. 
This sound may be heard for a few seconds, after which, the power stops inside the hard disk. Now, let us hear the sound coming out of the hard disk, when the head gets stuck. To solve this problem, we have to shift this stuck head to its parking area manually. For that, we need to shift the stuck head very carefully using specific tools. It may pose the risk of having head and platter damage if the head is shifted without using the specific tools. Previously, we had read that bearings are used in spindle motor. Sometimes, due to continuous rotation, the bearings engaged in spindle motor gets jammed. Due to this, the spindle motor will also get jammed. And we will hear a specific sound which is generated during this problem. For this, we have to use the spindle motor unstuck tool to unstuck the spindle motor. Now, let us hear the sound coming out of the hard disk. If the spindle motor is too much jammed and cannot be removed, then we have to shift the platter and head to the hard disk with the same donor. Our next mechanical issue will be the damaged preamplifier. When the preamplifier gets damaged, the signal from the head won't be properly transferred to PCB. Due to this, head won't shift to its starting position. Instead the head will keep on moving between the platter and the parking area. We can also identify this problem from the sound emitted from the hard disk. When the preamplifier gets damaged, we will have to change the entire head assembly. Because changing the preamplifier is very difficult. Now we will understand the damaged preamplifier through sound detection. When the bearing of the spindle motor gets damaged, or if the coil gets damaged from the inside, the speed of the spindle motor in the hard disk is not constant. Because of this, a sound will be created. And we can easily recognize the damaged spindle motor problem. To solve the bad bearing problem, we need to change the spindle motor, which is a very difficult task. So, for the bad bearing, we will transfer the platter to the second hard disk with the same donor. This requires special tools like platter exchanger and head replacement tool. This concludes our final session. We hope that you might have learned many things from these useful sessions. Thank you.